and welcome to today's go market update charts of the day on the 30th of august 2023 mike's been analyst here to lead you around what's happening in market today as we approach the midpoint of the asian session let's just have a look at what's coming across the news today of course we saw broad-based gains in the us overnight with advances versus decliners around about the three to one ratio again fairly broad-based rally which is positive for markets overall somewhat surprising in light of what's happening over the next three days in terms of data markets are still expected to be down for the month as we near the end of august but we are seeing the nasdaq on the back of three days of straight gains us futures are just above neutral in the asian session and towards the high of the session as well we've had a general creep up as the days progressed Asian markets generally positive so far following that Wall Street lead. And ASX is up 1.3% after some soft CPI data pushed up another half a percent since that came out. European futures are pointing to a positive open. The VIX continues to edge lower and is looking technically like a double top. US dollar index fell again from three month highs hit last week. It was slightly lower in Asia today initially, but we are seeing a fairly mixed session depending on the us dollar cross you look at gold has moved higher again it's testing monthly highs copper is around that top of the short-term range after a bounce off 380 support and all has moved out of the range of the upside looks like a double bottom formation on the daily chart bitcoin has its biggest one day gain since june looks to test 28,000. little movement in asia so far in comparison to yesterday but still up slightly and we had that Australian monthly inflation softer than expected, around about 0.5% down from last month's number. Later on this afternoon, we've got German CPI, Eurozone Industrial and Consumer Confidence figures. And then this evening, a plethora of data coming out of the US. We've got the ADP jobs report, GDP, Q and Q, PCE and housing data all out. Tomorrow doesn't get any quieter. We've got Eurozone CPI, Chinese PMI and US PCE data out as well as the weekly jobs. And then, of course, we've got non-farm payrolls on friday so a really busy three days one would suggest a fairly high risk situation a couple of charts that caught our eye today on the asx we're liking the look of 360.asx live 360 inc the american app company rechallenging nine dollars in today's session and you can see this was challenged subsequent to earnings nice pop followed by a retracement and now we're retesting that level uh, could be a very sharp move up this is obviously highs not seen for some time we look back on a weekly chart we can see the last time we're here was around about September last year. Uh, so we are looking as though we might push higher from here. And certainly a move up towards $10 looks on the cards. On the ASX, some really interesting price action on the Aussie dollar crosses subsequent to that data. This is where the data came out. And then we recovered over the next sort of half an hour all of those losses in this potential cross so if we look at the four hourly chart you can see the extent of that candle really choppy candle yesterday as well so we do appear to be stuck technically around about 94.50 if we breach that then a move up to 94.75 in the first instance and possibly even up to 95 is more certainly on the cards which is the high of these this candle here that we see back around about two weeks ago so certainly seems to be some strength in the Aussie dollar, despite that soft inflation number, which is quite unusual. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.